The show starts and we see a college student named Kazria who is walking with Glamour and explaining about his life, that how he is a college student living by himself in Tokyo. He also explains that he has a girlfriend but as soon as he says that his girlfriend happily says that she loves someone else and that they should break up. This leaves Kazuya in pieces and he remembers how Mommy chan was only his girlfriend for a month and she dumped him so quickly. He cries even more when he sees that Mami had blocked him on social media as well. In all this sorrow he comes across a site to rent to Jairo for Andes. He thinks that enough is enough and that now he must get a girlfriend. He books a date and meets Chizuru the next day in a cafe. Kazuya is amazed as how beautiful she is and keeps on blushing they talk and Chizuru requests her payment beforehand and this makes him realize that this isn't a real date. They later on go to the aquarium and have a good time. Chizuru holds Kazuya's hand when they walk back. She says her goodbye and Kazuya is shy as he can be. He goes home but gets mad when he finds out that she holds hand with every client. He leaves a bad review intentionally. The next day they go on another date and after giving his dues, Kazuya makes a weird remake as how she can date people she doesn't like. They visit the aquarium again and Kazuya remembers Mommy again and how she dumbed him. Being depressed over Mommy, he lets his anger out on Chizuru. Everyone starts looking at them. Chizuru grabs him and pulls him into a corner. She then explodes and says what he expected from a rent a girlfriend. She scolds him and Kazuya is terrified off her. They are talking when Kazuya gets a call that his grandma has collapsed and he rushes to the hospital while Chizuru trails behind. They reach the hospital where his grandma asks who this young girl is. Kazuya says it's her girlfriend as he did not want to be embarrassed in front of his family. Kazuya's family can believe it and they all are shocked. His grandma asks if they have had any intimate moments and Kazuya goes mad while Chizuru laughs. His grandma wants to introduce Kazuya and his girlfriends to her friends and she rushes out to fetch them. Chizuru is terrified because her own grandmother happens to be a patient in this hospital. They run and hide but soon are caught when Chizuru kicks him while they get too close and Chizuru's grandma sees them. They have to keep up the facade and they tell her they are a couple as well. The two grandmas laugh and are glad that they are dating each other. They leave shortly and talk a bit. Chizuru slaps him for being so cheesy but tell Kazuya that he can call him if he ever gets stuck in the grandma situation again. Later on Chizuru laughs about the review that Kazuya had left her. The next day Kazuya all happy at college bumps into a girl who looks similar to Chizuru but doesn't pay much attention to it. It turns out it is Chizuru who happened to attend the same college. She corners Kazuyu and tells him that she will kill him if she tells anyone about her and warns him that he never rent her again as well as delete the app. Chizuru never wants to meet him again. Kazuya is scared and collapses. In the morning while taking out the trash Kazuya and Chizuru run into each other. It turns out that they happen to live right next to each other. Chizuru runs back inside and accuses Kazuya of stalking, but he explains that he always lived here. Chizuru doesn't believe him and he goes back inside as well. Later on his grandma him out of the blue and tells him that she is coming over today and that he should invite Chizuru as well and quickly shuts off the call. Hearing this Kazuya rushes to Chizuru's and begs her to date him one last time. She tells him off that she will report him to the police and asks him to come clean with his grandma that they broke up. Kazuya's grandma arrives and tells him how bad his room looks. She waits of Chizuru and asks what's taking so long. He fakes to call her and goes outside her door to request her again. She kicks him out the door saying that she can't and he should just tell her the truth. He goes back and is about to tell her grandma, but she already knows that they might have broken up. Chizuru is listening from the balcony and feels sad. His grandma scolds him that Chizuru is a good girl and he should be more careful. But just then, Chizuru barges in the door and brings some potluck for them to eat. Grandma is so happy she cries. She also tells them that they have to visit here every Wednesday and that Kazuya should bring Chizuru along with her. Later on Kazuya and Chizuru make a deal that they will only date for one hour on every Wednesday when going to meet his grandma. They agree and next week on Wednesday they visit his grandma. On their way back they hold hands and some of Kazuya's friends spot him and ask him who this girl is upon which he tells that she is his girlfriend. They can't believe it and ask him his secrets. His friends invite him to have lunch since they were going to lunch anyways. Kazuya and Chizuru go to have lunch and they learn that Mami is also there. Kazuya can't stop feeling embarrassed. He keeps looking at Mami and thinks that he should leave. He later on goes to the bathroom and upon returning, he sees Mami is talking to Chizuru. He laughs and sits down. Mami then starts sharing some intimate details about her previous relationship with Kazuya and how he just falls for any girl and is so easily humbled. Hearing this Chizuru gets angry that she shouldn't disclose such things to anyone. Kazuya just laughs and doesn't say anything which makes Chizuru mad and she leaves. Mani plans something, and after a heavy dinner and drinks, she plans to take Kazuya home. As she takes Kazuya home, she explains how she broke up with her boyfriend and how she is so lonely. She says that Kazuya should come over and have fun tonight, but it is cut short when she finds out that her brother is home today. 
Casio was a bit drunk and suggested that she come to her place but quickly covers it up by saying that he wants her to see her new fish. She laughs and gives him some water and starts pat him on the head. Manny then badmouths Chizuru and how she is a grumpy type. Kazuya feels offended and defends Chizuru saying that she is humble and kind as he knew her better than others. Manny felt awkward in saying this Kazuya thinks of Chizuru and rushes home. Reaching home, he rings the bell only to find out that Chizuru is coming up the stairs. He explains how worried he was and apologizes for not coming after her. She says it's fine and that she is a renta girlfriend. He breaks down explaining that he is now more depressed and can't get over mommy. Chizuru offers to help him get over this pain as well and he leaps to hug her but gets a kick in return. The following day Kazuya's friends plan to go to the beach and have fun. His friend asks why Chizuru wasn't here but Kazuya makes a random excuse. They meet at the hotel and get ready to go to the resort's beach. Mani is seen chatting with someone and says that she will break Chizuru and Kazuya up. They get to the beach and play around while Mami asks Kazuya about Chizuru. He was about to explain how she wasn't his girlfriend and that it was all a lie when they bump into Chizuru and her friends who also were at the beach. But no one recognized her and she went away. In all this mess, Kazuya rushed to the bathroom where Chizuru confronts him that why he is there. He tells her that things are going good and he doesn't need her help anymore. Chizuru gets angry and explains that not only it is rude but also bad of him to think of her like that. In all the commotion in the bathroom, Mommy comes and checks up on Kazuya. She confronts him of talking to someone in the bathroom, but he denies it. She is about to open the door when suddenly Chizuru comes out in her bathing suit. Some of Kazuya's friends also are there and are shocked at what Kazuya was doing in the bathroom. They leave for the beach while Mommy stands in a corner and loads the couple again. They all talk and have fun at the beach playing games. Kazuya falls shy and runs to swim. Mani tricks him into helping her find her ring but she suddenly kisses him. This shocks Kazuya and he flashes back to the first time he met Mami. It was his first day in college when he met her. She laughed at his jokes and he thought she was pretty. He explains how he asked her out and they went on a few dates as well. All this and their first kiss he remembered it all. Later at the table, Kazuya thinks about all that has happened with Mami and that he should come clean. Everyone is talking and saying that they should meet at Chizuru's place but Kazuya interrupts it and explains that how they are breaking up. Everyone is shocked and Kiba punches Kazuya saying that he is selfish and that he always thinks way too quickly. He explains that Moni is playing him and he falls for it every time. They fight and Chizuru goes back. Kazuya leaves as well and meets her at the exit, apologizing and how he acted. Chizuru explains that it's fine and leaves. Kiba confronts Chizuru and talks to her about Kazuya, who at the time is spying on them. Kiba explains that Kazuya is a great guy and that he always takes care of others. He only gets shy a lot and no one has ever stood up for him. He hands her two ferry tickets and asks Chizuru to talk to him and he leaves. Kazuya and Chizuru got to the ferry and talk about their time and still decide that they should end this facade. While discussing this Mani calls Kazuya and asks him to meet her at the pool and he agrees but at that moment Chizuru who is seasick falls over the ship. Seeing this, Kazuya hurries and jumps in with her. Kazuya ends up saving her but gets injured himself and falls unconscious. He feels as if he is dying but Chizuru gives him CPR and saves him. Some lifeguards save them and scold them as well. Later on Kazuya's friend tells him that he must really love Chizuru as he risked his life for her. Saying this he says that he should be glad that he has Chizuru others wise he will die a virgin. Upon reaching home, Kazuya starts to develop feelings for Chizuru and can't help it. He thinks he is in love. Over the weekend Kazuya and his family visit the hot springs as a celebration that his grandma is out of the hospital. They reach the resort and see that Chizuru's grandma is also there. Kazuya feels uneasy but his grandma assures him that he has nothing to worry about and that he should go to his room. He enters his room and sits down when suddenly Chizuru comes out of the bathroom. She is shocked and gets mad that their grandma have gone far enough. She decided that it is finally time to tell them the truth once again. She heads up and is about to tell them but isn't able to as no changes for the room can be made. They head back and Chizuru decides that at least she should enjoy herself. She goes to the spring where she meets Kazuya's grandma and wants to tell her the truth but she can't lie to her kind nature. She returns back and eats with Kazuya saying that they need a new approach and that she can't break their hearts. He agrees and they are about to sleep. Kazuya pulls his bed away but Chizuru says it's fine to sleep next to her. Before Kazuya slept he wished that he could keep renting her to which Chizuru said that she will be glad to but they need to plan something for their grandmas. The next day they tell their friends about how they are back together to which Kiba is happy and sad at the same time. Kazuya at the same time checks his wallet that he is pouring out money at a rapid pace. They both go for a walk where one of Kazuya's friend asks him about a double date as even he has a girlfriend now. He tries to say no but his friend doesn't listen. 
The following Saturday, they all go rock climbing, and they meet his girlfriend Ruka, who had bumped into Kazuya yesterday. They start to rock climb, and seeing the only Chizuru and his friend was good at him, he started to think he only wanted to show off. Everyone at the place was looking at them. Even Kazuya and Kiru were astonished at both the beauties. Ruka and Kazuya kept falling off while the other enjoyed it. Later on, Ruka asks Chizuru if she is a rental girlfriend, and that as she is not then she should kiss Kazuya as it is normal for couples. They both pretend to kiss, but Ruka doesn't believe them. Kazuya covers it by saying that Chizuru has to meet her grandma and she leaves. On their way back, Ruka says bye at the station while Kazuya stays behind to confront her. He runs after her to beg her not to tell anyone but she is already waiting for Kazuya down at the platform. She stops in and asks about the truth but he denies it. She runs away but he follows her asks her to record a voice that she won't reveal this secret. He explains why Chizuru is acting this way as well as the grandma situation. She doesn't agree and as they are talking she falls back but Kazuya saves her from falling and saves her. She pushes Kazuya away but he begs her not to tell anyone for Chizuru's sake. He explains that it will impact Chizuru's life and she is the perfect girl that anyone could dream of. Hearing this Ruka tells him that even she is a rental girlfriend. He then feels relaxed and tells Chizuru who thinks that maybe that's how she found out about her. The following day, Ruka shows up at his college to meet Kiru but she takes Kazuya to a room and was about to ask her something when they heard Kiru enter the room. They hid behind a desk and stayed quiet. They think that Kiru has left and at the time Ruka's phone rings. He is about to ask her when he sees Kiru standing behind them. He is about to say something when Ruka interrupts by saying thank you rental date yesterday. Kiru runs off crying but Kazuya runs after him saying that it was bad of Ruka to do so. Later on Kazuya talks to Chizuru outside her home and they discuss about Ruka. Just then, Ruka appears and records their conversation. She blackmails them saying that they shouldn't meet like this and that she will expose them if Kazuya doesn't go on a date with her. She exclaims that she likes him because of how Kazuya feels towards Chizuru who is a rental girlfriend and maybe if she was her actual girlfriend she could feel the love. Kazuya can't believe that a girl likes her. Chizuru steps out and says that it's fine to have a talk about this. She says that Ruka can date Kazuya but the details are much more to be told at the moment. Ruka tells her how Kazuya fondled her bosom and how he had hugged her. Kazuya said that it wasn't how she said it and asked them to talk inside. They enter his home and Reiku points out that Chizuru must have come inside his room before as she just casually strolled in. She laughs and they talk. Reiku glues herself to Kazuya saying that he is all hers. They ask Reiku to wait for a while outside and they discuss what to tell her. He explains that he can't date her as this would be bad for his friend Kiru whose heart is broken. He explains that he must go and apologize. Kazuya is about to jump out the window when Reiku distracts him and he falls down. Reiku follows him and she stops him and is persistent. Kazuya begs her that he can't do this to his friend as it is unfair to date his previous girlfriend. Chizuru catches up and tells Kazuya to date her and that it's the only way. He agrees and they start to date, but to Kazuya it seems more like a job as Rako kept on texting all night without a break. He slept only three hours and Reiko had given her a plan with rules which involved all the things that he had to do from replying to reacting to each chats. He was exhausted. He lets out some steam and thinks about Christmas. Then at school Reiko surprised him because he didn't reply to her. He takes her to a corner and explains that it isn't possible to meet during college as Kiru might see them. She explains that she feels sad without him and that this Christmas he has to spend it with her. He agrees and storm off. Later at home he thinks that he should spend Christmas with Chizuru but her schedule is booked. He gets sad and lets of some steam again. The next day when he is out, he sees Chizuru with a guy. He doesn't mind at first but then he starts to think maybe this guy is not a rental customer but maybe he can be her real boyfriend. He starts thinking of weird scenarios and that she obviously has a handsome boyfriend that's why she is always busy. He dwells more into his thoughts and can't decide what to do. He knows it's bad to follow them but he must know what is happening. Kazuya follows them and they go to watch a movie. Kazuya also watches the movie and nothing happens. Then near the shop, they buy some stuff and he hears his name, Emmy. He thinks maybe this guy is a hot shot and wants to confront him. Some girls at the store compliment them and say that they are the best couple which only infuriates Kazuya. He feels heartbroken and goes to the bathroom. He meets Imi there who gets a call and he explains about Chizuru's and what her sizes wear. Lu thought cloud Kazuya's mind and he thinks maybe Chizuru is in trouble. Near the tree, he sees them standing and what appears to be Imi trying to kiss Chizuru. Kazuya falls over trying to stop this but he quickly learns that he was only fixing her hair. She explains that he is one of his friends from the play and that she is becoming an actress. Kazuya is shocked. Chizuru even gives him a gift which is a cover for his phone as a thank you for always keeping her interest first. The next day, Chizuru and Kazuya go on a date 
and they learn that they discuss how to move forward on the situation. They talk and head back when Ruka pops up and confronts them about having been away and that he must be cheating on her. He explains that it is nothing like that and this is all a misunderstanding. He asks Chizuru to explain but she just nods away. Ruka takes Kazuya away saying that she needs to talk to him, but even then he is distracted. Ruka blindfolds him and takes him to a love hotel. Kazuya is sacred and thinks maybe Ruka is going to fast. He backs away but Ruka only wanted to talk. He decides that it is better to tell her in detail about all this. He explains every situation from the hospital to the hot spring and Ruka understands. She then comes forward and says that Kazuya should introduce her as his girlfriend. This way Chizuru can be at ease and her grandmother can have a granddaughter-in-law. He tells that it is not that easy in her family like Chizuru. Ruka becomes more persistent but Kazuya hides in the bathroom. At that moment Ruka sees a notification on his phone and upon Kazuya's return she is gone. Kazuya takes a breath and later on meets Chizuru for their weekly dinner with grandma. Kazuya's grandma and parents meet them and to their surprise Ruka is there as well who forcibly add herself to the party. She explains that she is Kaya's girlfriend constantly which alarms his grandma. Kazuya explains that Ruka is an avid liar and she just makes up things. Later at the dinner table, Ruka is called by Kazuya to talk and they all sigh at how Ruka lies so much. Later during their visit to the shrine, Ruka and Kazuya's grandma are nowhere to be found. Chizuru thinks that maybe Ruka will reveal their secrets to her, but in truth Ruka realizes that his grandma sees Chizuru as the real prize and can't come to reveal anything. When she hears his grandma asking about Chizuru, she understands that why his grandma cares so much about Chizuru. She later finds them and takes them back. Chizuru assures Kazuya that she did not tell them anything. Ruka says that she will try even more to be close to Kazuya, and we later see that even she has joined his part-time job at the karaoke place. He thinks that he will never be able to get rid of Ruka. He meets his friends in the karaoke place, and they tell him about how Kiru doesn't come out much. He understands the pain and wants to ask Reku, but thinks it would be a bad idea to let her talk to him. After some time, Kazuya gets his salary and thinks what he should do. He thinks of saving it, then thinks that he should spend it on a day with Chizuru, but then something clicks in his mind. In the middle of the night, he asks Chizuru a favor. The next day, Kiru is seen waiting outside as he got a message from Kazuya that he will kill him if he doesn't come outside. He waits and he meets Chizuru who tells him that she is a rental girlfriend as well. She explains that she has been a rental and Kiru can't believe it. He thinks that maybe Chizuru still dates Kazuya and is only acting this way to cheer him up. Kiru wants to go home, but Chizuru explains that she really wants to go to the park. She can go alone as well but some boys may tease her. Kiru mans up and goes with her. They enter the park and enjoy themselves to the fullest. They ride the various rides and go on multiple times. They visit the haunted house where Chizuru acts scared and hugs Kiru tightly. They enjoy the entire time. Kiru feels happy that he got to spend time with her. He also explains that the rental app has so many pretty girls and that is difficult to not fall for them. They talk and Kiru explains how good of a friend he is, how Kazuya always looks after him. As the day ends, Kiru asks how much he owes but she tells him that it's all paid for. Kazuya comes forward and tells how he used first salary to pay for his friend to come back to his old self. He laughs and asks him not share this secret with others. The same night Kazuya gets a note from Chizuru that she wants to meet at the balcony. He thinks maybe this a romantic retreat but in fact she wants a favor from him as well. She explains that she wants to train a new girl and how she needs him to train her. This rental will be free as she needs to be trained to be less shy as customers have complained about her being too shy. Chizuru tell him that her name is Suman who is a fresher at their college. Suma had recently joined the college and was fresher. She is extremely shy and cares for her routine. Sumi only looks up to Chizuru who is a role model to her. She sets up a date with Kazuya who greets her and decides to take her out to eat. They go and enjoy themselves and Manny sees them having fun and she follows the. He takes Suma bowling. He thinks that she is pretty as well and that she has long legs that cater to her beauty. They bowl together and Sumi keeps following down. Kazuya tries to talk to her but she is still shy. She keeps on blushing and does no utter a work. Kazuya asks if she wants a drink and he goes to get some drinks. Upon returning he see a few thugs around her who tease her. Kazuya is scared but he still acts a bit tough and pulls Sumi out saying that they should leave now. Sumi finally says something and how happy she was that Kazuya stood up for her. She holds her hand and they decide to continue the date. They go down and play more games. Even though Sumi is shy and keeps failing in football, baseball, and even on Ride the Bull, they still have a lot of fun. Later on ice ring they skate and fall a bit, and Kazuya can't stand the beauty as he thinks Sumi is gorgeous. They later on have ice cream and Sumi offers Kazuya to taste hers. He tastes it and some licks the same part. 
Kezria feels embarrassed and starts having lewd thoughts. At that moment, Mommy sees them and sits next to them. She asks who she is and Kazuya was about to say a friend when Sumi quickly hugs him, suggesting that she is his girlfriend. Mommy asks Sumi to leave for a second. Mami then asks Kazuya how he had changed so much and was he cheating on Shizuru. He explains that maybe he was. She says that she will keep it a secret but she was amazed how much she was liked by girls after their breakup. He just laughs and they go back home. Sumi thanks Kazuya a lot and he is glad that he could help Chizuru. Later on, Mami can't help but feel jealous so she searches for Sumi and finds that she is a rental girlfriend. At the apartment, Chizuru thanks Kazuya for the favor and tells him that she may quit this rental girlfriend job as she is now getting plays for her acting gigs. She explains how that director friend is giving her a chance and that she may no longer need that job which makes Kazuya sad. He goes back to his room all sad and alone. Ruka calls him and asks if they can go on a date. Kazuya was about to decline but he thinks that now that Chizuru might quit he needs to have a real girlfriend so he accepts the offer. Ruka and Kazuya go on a quick date, everyone see them as a cute couple. They talk to each other and have fun. Kazuya feels that maybe Ruka is the one as she strives for their relationship. He explains how she fights for him and caters for him, even though he hasn't announced it yet. He starts to feel more for Ruka. He is about to reveal his true feelings for Ruko when he sees Mami and Chizuru entering the karaoke bar. He rushes to their door. He doesn't hear much at first. He listens to them. Mami talks about how Chizuru feels about a being a rental and how she had almost fooled him but had found out about her via the site. She applauds her that she has good reviews and that the boys like her very much. Mami gives her some money as she had booked a date with her for today by tricking but Chizuru does not accept it. She still hands her it anyway. Mami then scolds her that why she does this to Chizuru and that this way he won't be able to get a real girlfriend. Mami then asks her to sing and she loves her voice. Later on she tells her that she shouldn't keep this facade going on for much longer. Kazuya overhears this and feels sad. Shortly after, they leave. Kazuya, who is worried about Chizuru, acts to be sick and runs after them. He follows them up a bridge and ducks down to hear their conversation. Mommy warns her that she is breaking his heart and that she should just leave him. Chizuru then explains that maybe she is wrong. Dating Kazuya has woke up her feelings for love and empathy. She explains how Kazuya loves and cares for everyone and he might still care for her. Chizuru holds her hand and explains that maybe she has some love for him as well, but she pulls her hand away saying that it's none of her business. Chizuru says this before leaving that Kazuya is her boyfriend so she will take care of him. Later in the night Kazuya waited outside for Chizuru to return and he explains how he was there and had heard all of it. He explains that he works at that karaoke place and had followed them. Chizuru blushes and tells him that maybe Ruka is the best choice for him, but Kazuya says that no, Chizuru is the one that he wants. After confessing his feeling to Chizuru, Kazuya thinks that he should stop with all this as Chizuru will leave the rental business as soon as she gets more acting gigs. He decides to tell her grandma about them breaking up, but he can't come to as he knows she will cry. He decides to go and watch her play and buys tickets to the heroine princess and sees her picture in the playbook as well. The theater is jam-packed and he notices a critic whom Chizuru mentioned before that he would be watching the play and even soon is there to support Chizuru and notices Kazuya as well. He sees Chizuru's friend Yumi on stage as well and then Chizuru makes her entry and with her acting she makes the entire theater laugh. Even Kazuya is impressed with how quick she can change personalities and everyone applauds. After the show ends, Sumi wanted to greet Kazuya but decides not to. Later on, Chizuru finds out that the critic offered the other girl the role as she had known the old man since her childhood which upsets Chizuru as she had worked so hard on her role. She thinks that all her effort and money has been wasted. Yumi asks her to stay for the after party but she politely declines and heads out. She collides with Kazuya on her way back and asks what he was doing with her show's playbook and that it's bad to follow someone. Kazuya tells her that he came to support her and nothing else. Bystanders think that it's a lover quarrel and laugh. Kazuya apologies but applauds her acting and that she was great and everyone loved her as well. She tells him that someone else got the role and that she wasn't good enough but she will work hard even though money is tight on her side. Kazuya tells her that he will rent her again and again to help her out as she deserves all the help she can get. Chizuru tells him that it will cost a lot and he should not do that. Back at his job he asks his seniors how he can land a girl who is out her league as Kazuya had heard that his wife was an air hostess. He shows him his passport and that he flew so many times just to see her, booking any chance he could to see her. Kazuya meets Chizuru at the cafe and just when he is about to pay her, she stops him and tells him that he shouldn't waste his money and hire her unnecessarily as it will be burden on him as well. She also highlights that Mommy will be upset if she finds out about them meeting each other and she stresses on the fact that Ruga likes him so he can't just rent her whenever since Ruga will mind it. 
Little does Chizuru know that Kazuya had already begged Ruka to let rent Chizuru as she needs the money for her acting classes. Ruka only agreed to it if he took her to one of Chizuru's plays. Later on Kazuya asks Chizuru to act normally as she does when is not a rental girlfriend but she says that this is her job and it helps with her acting as she pretends to be his ideal girlfriend to which Kazuya tells her that the normal her is his ideal girlfriend which makes her blush so she agrees. As Kazuya is about to go when Chizuru tells her that she is off work and if he wants, he can join as she is going to the batting cage. She then asks Kazuya to come with her to see her grandma, which makes Kazuya sad that the batting cage was just to kill time. They meet her grandma and she welcomes him. Chizuru steps out to fill the vase and her grandma wants to ask Kazuya something. Kazuya thinks that maybe her grandma found out that they aren't a real couple but she just wanted to ask what he though about her play as she was unable to go. Kazuya tells her that it was incredible and that he really enjoyed it and that Chizuru is super strong. Her grandma laughs and that she wasn't strong but always needy since a kid and that kids used to tease her. She tells him that he is a really good boy and that she is grateful for him taking care of her and she tells her that now she can die in peace lol. Later in the night when they get back Chizuru knocks on Kazuya's door and she tells him that she lost her key to her apartment and she comes inside which shocks Kazuya and he thinks that maybe she wants to sleep over but she just wants to use his balcony to access her balcony which shatters all his hope. She tries to cross from the balcony. She is about to fall when he grabs her by her butt which makes her shy and that he could have grabbed somewhere else and they trip and fall on each other and she asks him to get off. Just then the doorbell rings and she quickly checks and it is Mommy. Kazuya freezes and they both try to hide. Mommy enters and looks around while Chizuru and Kazuya hide in the kitchen. She gives up and leaves. Both of them are relieved. Mommy tries to call him but then she remembers that she saw a girl's purse at his apartment. Later she sees that the landlord is back and she is about to leave when Kazuya tells her that he is always here to help as her neighbor and she tells him that she is all alone. She had once promised his grandpa to be an actress and that she aims to be on the big screen for her grandma to see. He tells her that his family takes care of him too much and that her grandma always cared for her. He tells her that he admires her as she is fulfilling her dreams as his future is set in stone. She smiles and tells him that he can by his side as she is her rental girlfriend after all. The next day at college they suddenly meet and Chizuru waves at him silently and he feels as if she really trusts him. On the other hand, Mommy sees all this but Chizuru keeps thinking of her everywhere she goes and that if she wanted she could easily break it off and report him to the agency but she trusts him so he is delighted. Just as he is thinking about Chizuru, Mommy startles him. She asks to talk with him and she tells him that she knows Chizuru is a rental girlfriend and that she wanted to tell him personally. Kazuya mistakenly tells her Chizuru already told him that. Moni says that she came over last night to tell him that but he wasn't at home. Kazuya thinks that maybe Moni is here to rub it in his face that how could he trick all them but Mommy apologizes and asks if she was the reason who drove him to such a point. Kazuya tells her that he was just experimenting and that she should blame him not Chizuru but Mommy tells her that he needs to be more serious about his own life and not waste money and time on Chizuru as for her it's just business. Mommy knows that he is lying since he was so confused and weird. Later on Ruka meets Kazuya and she tells him that she will cook for him tonight and she shops like crazy for him. She cooks her his house and tells him to wait. Ruka is just delighted as she is cooking a meal for her boyfriend. He compliments her cooking and they watch a show together. Kazuya feels happy but when he learns that Ruka wants to stay over, he quickly pushes her out that she can't just randomly stay over. As she is leaving, they find out that it is raining and there is a storm. She takes a bath and keeps yelling but Kazuya tells her that Chizuru might hear her and he thinks that Chizuru might take it the wrong way. He takes a bath and she made him a hot cup of milk and the sit around having fun. She is going through her bag when some condoms fall out and Ruka is embarrassed, even Kazuya is so shocked and she changes that topic by saying that she brought them just in case. Kazuya can't handle it and rolls up and sleeps in the kitchen. Ruka sleeps next to him and tells him that she is only doing this as she really likes him. She always wanted someone to care for and being with him brings her joy. She starts to cry and says that if she understands that if she isn't pretty enough for him but Kazuya quickly pins her down that she is crazy if she thinks she isn't pretty. Kazuya tells her that he can't believe that a girl like her asked him out but he wants to have true feelings for her before he takes the next step and not for his desires. Ruka is glad that Kazuya is sincere with her and falls asleep while he didn't sleep a single second. She kisses him and leaves. While leaving, she yells that she had an amazing night with him. Kazuya tries to stop her so that Chizuru doesn't hear her but it's too late as Chizuru was behind the door. 
Kazuya goes out to take out the trash, and he runs into Chizuru, and while throwing out the trash he asks if he can rent him out next week and take her to eat clams. She agrees but asks what would Ruka think as she did spend the night at his place which Kazuya turned to stone, and he is super embarrassed. She thinks that maybe they are a couple. Kazuya tells her that she stayed over due to the rain, but Chizuru tells him that he should really draw a line and not play with her. While studying for her play, Chizuru keeps thinking of what Ruka said, while Kazuya is breaking down as he told her the truth and now, she thinks low of him. He finds out that her birthday is coming soon and he plans to buy her a gift. He searches online but is confused with all the various kinds and what kind of meaning each present would have. He thinks of an idea and rents Suma as she might have an idea what to buy for Chizuru. Sumi recalls and had listened to their conversation on the day of the play. They shop around and Kazuya checks out various gifts and even tries out a hat. He then tells Sumi that as her and Chizuru talk all the time that she might have a better choice than his. She feels shy and suggests a few things, but Kazuya thinks that it feels a bit cliché which makes Sumi sad and he apologizes. She then takes him to a few other places and then they go to see live action comic play. Kazuya thinks that maybe she brought him her she enjoys such type of things, but it turns out that the pink fighter is actually Ms. Hara and that she is doing a play and that Sumi knew this. Kazuya is even more proud of her and he thanks Sumi for helping her and is about to leave. Sumi feels glad and she feels happy seeing the pictures they took and she stops him. Sumi musters up the courage and asks his birthday and runs away. He thinks about a perfect gift and has an idea. Meanwhile Chizuru comes back home to find a gift on her balcony from Kazuya. She reads the letter he gave as well and loves the plums he gave her. The next day he checks to see if she had taken the gift and just then Chizuru comes outside. She notices him and thanks him for the gift and that she liked the plums but she is a bit mad about how casually he put it on her balcony but lets it slide this time. He says that he wants to explain about Ruka and she believes him and that he shouldn't explain himself to her each time. He asks if he can rent her to celebrate her birthday officially, but Chizuru says that she had to go with some college friends. Later at college, Kazuya's friend asks if he had fun with Chizuru before to which Kazuya doesn't how to tell him that he didn't do anything with her but just lies that it was fun. They also ask Kazuya if he is available tonight and that they were invited for drinks. Kazuya agrees and they go have drinks with some girls. Kazuya is shocked to see Chizuru as well and this was all a coincidence. They talk and have fun. Kazuya, on the other hand, think that Chizuru is completely different in this form as she wears makeup when they are on dates. They also get drunk and do weird stuff. They talk about Kazuya's girlfriend that her name is Chizuru as well and her birthday was recently as well. They ask what Kazuya gifted her but it's cut short when Chizuru's friend suddenly takes off Chizuru's glasses but all of them are too drunk to notice that it's actually Chizuru. They have competition and she who gets drunk the first. Kazuya intentionally loses so that Chizuru doesn't get too drunk. Kazuya is too sick to walk and Chizuru helps him to take him home. She offers to help as he continues to throw up. She stays with him and tells her that he is causing problems for her and that she should not help him but she insists on helping him and he falls asleep in the bathroom. The next morning, Kazuya has a huge hangover and remembers a few things from last night how Chizuru was there as well. He checks his phone and sees that he has been added to a group chat. He is glad that he has Chizuru's private number now as he only had her agency number. He wants to try and add her but doesn't have the confidence to do it. Later he goes to college and meets up with the group from last night for a class. When he gets home, he feels worse and wants to hydrate himself and sees the medicine and drink she have left him, which makes him even more happy. Meanwhile, Chizuru thinks of adding Kazuya as well but she hesitates as well. At the job, Ruka asks Kazuya if he has made a decision and he tells her he still needs time. Ruka asks that now Chizuru must be out of the way since she heard her last time about staying over but Kazuya tells her that Chizuru believed him as he told her nothing happened which make Ruka a bit mad and that how was he able to convince her. Just then a customer comes and Kazuya heads over and freezes as it is Mommy. He thinks why is she constantly popping up. Mommy tells him that she was just in the area and that she need a room to complete her assignment. She said that she was recently here with a friend but Kazuya knew she was here at Chizuru the last time she came. Ruka on the other hand asks if Kazuya knows her, and he tells her that she is classmates with her. He directs her to the room while Ruka gets jealous as he so casually talks to her and even spies on him. Ruka becomes suspicious and asks what relation they have and she says that they're just classmates and why she asks but she is about to say that she is her girlfriend but Ruka adds two and two together and knows that Mani was the girl who dumped him. She gets mad that now she has another contender to go up against and tells Mami that she is her girlfriend and that she better stay away from him as they had a passionate night before. 
Mommy tries to counter her and asks why he had a rental girlfriend, but Ruka pretends that she knew about it and that she was open to him experimenting around. Mommy feels weird and leaves. Ruka cries and says that she cares for her more than anything. Mommy, on the other hand, can't seem to shake the feeling that something doesn't add up. She thinks the bag that night at Kazuya's place couldn't be hers, but all this is answered when C happens to meet Chizuru on the train and she had the exact same bag. The next day, Kazuya thinks about what happened yesterday, and then Ruka calls him. She apologizes for the way she acted yesterday, and that she said so much stuff and rage. He tells her that Manny doesn't have feelings for her, and that she made him get over her. Later on, Kazuya thinks that he should rent Chizuru again, but now she is not a rookie rental girlfriend and now costs even more. He thinks that since he is paying, he should be able to go on proper dates with her not just roam around. So he takes Chizuru on a date at Tokyo Dome City, all dressed in her high school uniforms. He wore his too and wanted to try something different. He buys her a choro so that they could share it. They see Sum at a clothing store and try to avoid running into her, so they then go to an arcade and have their pictures taken in a photo booth where they do different poses. Kazuya is unable to retrieve it because Chizuru notices some girls wearing the same uniform as her. They returned outside and ride the Ferris wheel. Chizuru makes small talk and tells him to see the concert from above, but he can't see it and goes near her seat. The Ferris wheel car shakes when the roller coaster passes by and they both get into an awkward position and she slaps him in a sudden reaction. Kazuya changes the topic and asks if Chizuru about any weird encounters she had on her other rental dates and she tells him when a dude yelled at her at the aquarium, which referred to him on their third date. Later on after they get off, Kazuya buys a photo for a 1,000 yen as he now has a memory with Chizuru. She also tells him that she is doing a new play as well. Kazuya's grandma calls him and asks about his birthday plans as Kazuya knows that she plans to go all out on his birthday. She also asks about Chizuru's birthday and when Kazuya tells her that it's past, she yells at him for not telling her. She decides to combine Kazuya's and Chizuru's parties. When Kazuya invites Chizuru to his family's home for the combined birthday and he tells him that she is busy with her grandma and that she'll be there after visiting her grandmother in the hospital. The next day, Keisha is approached by Ruka as he walks to the party after inadvertently revealing that he is going with Chizuru as well. Ruka had decided to come the day after, but she shows up before. They go their house and Kazuya tells her that Chizuru will join them later on. Ruka seizes the opportunity to make a good impression and brings gifts for the family and yells at Kazuya for inviting Chizuru and not her. She tells him that she will make her grandma like her as much as her she likes Chizuru. She helps around the party, and when her grandma asks about Chizuru, he calls her which makes Ruka even more jealous that Kazuya has her phone number as well, but Kazuya was just bluffing as he didn't add her yet. But shortly when Ruka is trying to reveal something to Kazuya's grandma, Chizuru calls him which stops the conversation. She tells him that it's fine if she can't come as her grandma is satisfied. Ruka steals her phone and Yun invites Chizuru that she isn't his real girlfriend. She disconnects the call and Chizuru thinks that she has gone mad. Chizuru asks her grandma that can she go to Kazuya's party, and she was invited as well to which her grandma tells her to go quick. After a while, Chizuru arrives and much to everyone's surprise, pays her respects at the family altar, which makes her grandma cry out of love. She asks why they don't live together to which Chizuru says that she leans on him too much and she is waiting to be independent. His grandma tells him to be more supportive towards Chizuru. When Kazuya is going to the bathroom, Ruka confronts him and kisses him. Ruka tells Kazuya that she does not want to lose and has no regrets and kiss him again. After a long, passionate kiss, they return to the party. His grandma asks why both of them are so quiet when earlier they had so much energy. Kazuya says nothing happened, and he knows that even though Ruka is so in love with him, he should be more supportive but the situation doesn't allow it. Kazuya's grandmother tells Chizuru about the gift she got her. She tries to hand over the family engagement ring to Chizuru. Both Kazuya and Chizuru think that this is going to far. Even Ruka is now feeling bad about herself. Realizing that the situation has gotten out of hand, Kazuya tries to tell everyone that he and Chizuru have broken up, but just then Chizuru receives a call from the hospital that her grandma collapsed. They rush to the hospital with Kazuya grandma. When they arrive, they see that Chizuru's grandmother appears to be in good condition. She apologizes for worrying them and that she ruined their combined birthday. Kazuya's grandma says that if she had known earlier, she would have postponed it. Both Kazuya and Chizuru's grandmas talk to each other. However, the doctor informs Chizuru that her grandmother does not have much time left. She tells Kazuya this as well, and he decides to tell them the truth, but Chizuru stops him. But Chizuru refuses because her grandma is happy, so she does not want to ruin her mood. 
Later, as they are about to leave, Kazuya's grandmother then presents the ring to Chizuru, and she tells her that she doesn't have to wear, but she can keep it for safekeeping. She also tells her that she knows that her grandmother won't make it and that she doesn't have any family left, so if she ever needs, she can sell the ring if needed. They get ready to leave, and Kazuya tells her that Chizuru is staying with her. Later, Kazuya and Ruka go on a date and eat pancakes. Kazuya thinks that this is the least he can do for yesterday. Ruka talks to Kazuya that she understands why he did not want her grandma to know as she has her heart set on Chizuru, but she tells him that she will not stop proving her for him. She then calls a true and tells him that she won't interfere as long as the matter isn't resolved. Kazuya heads home and can't understand what he is supposed to do, and that he has to make sure that Chizuru is well too. Kazuya is working at home and doesn't seem to understand what he should do. Just then something knocks his window and he instantly knows that it's Chizuru. She tells him that Sumi wants him to help her practice this Saturday and she wants him to come to park. She also explains that she also wants him to be on time as she has put together a schedule. Kazuya agrees and asks how Chizuru is doing. She tells him that it's fine and that she can manage. A few days later, he meets Sumu for her practice date who is dressed in high school uniform, which surprises Kazuya. He asks if she is doing some cosplay practice or if she just wanted to try something new to which she explains that she wore this him as he likes girls in uniforms. And she tells him that she saw him and Chizuru at Tokyo Dome City. So she planned all this. She tells him that she will be her guide and she will make sure he has fun. They continue on to a marine mammal park. Sumi serves as cozy as a tour guide there. They see lots of places and even see penguins and even a pirate boat. She eventually takes him to a dolphin show and now Kazuya understood that she planned to taking him her as she had scheduled all the points to visit. They sit down but Sumi tells him to move up a level as it was the splash zone. Kazuya really enjoys having fun at the show as he loves aquatic life but they still get splashed which make both of them super wet. Sumi's dress is wet as well so Kazuya then gives her his shirt so that she can cover up. She then changes and takes Kazuya to a bridge which is popular romantic spot that night where Kazuya becomes flustered and thinks that Sumi is taking things a bit too seriously until Sumi hands him a birthday present. She gave him a beanie with a fish logo which he wore immediately. She asks if he had fun to which he tells him today was awesome and that he really had fun. She holds Kazuya's hand and both of them have fun. She inquires as to what is wrong. He reveals the situation involving Shizuru, causing them to become emotional. Kazuya thanks Sumi for a good time before they part ways when she leaves. He finds the motivation he needs to assist Shizuru. Kazuya tells her grandma to take care of herself as she is getting later for acting school. She rehearses well with her friends. Yumi asks if she wants to grab dinner with everyone else, but she tells him that she had to go her audition across town. A girl tells Sumi that Shizuru is so dedicated that her schedule is always booked. She tells him that she takes time out for visiting her grandma as well as for her acting school. Chizuru leaves and she knows that she has to go to the bank as her acting school costs 24000 a month, but she isn't worried that much as her side gig as a rental girlfriend pays well and she can even choose her own hours. She thinks that in landing a good role, talent, luck and hard work all have an important role. She heads home and finds out that she didn't get the role that she auditioned for and cries. Chizuru thinks about her late grandpa and thinks how sad he must be since she failed yet another audition. She missed him so much and she thinks about how when she was young, he used to give her a moral boost whenever she would lose at something. Her grandfather told her that her dreams will always be fulfilled. He even took her to a shrine. She also found out that her grandmother was a big-time actress in her youth as well. She watched a few films and actresses, and then she decides to tell her grandparents that she wants to become an actress. Her grandpa even then gave her the confidence that she can do anything that she set her mind to. Her grandpa paid for her acting classes and helped each step of the way. Her overjoyed grandfather promised to keep an eye on her. Chizuru was devastated when she learned that he had been injured in a car accident. She goes to the hospital where her grandma thinks he won't make it. She goes to the shrine, remembering the legend to pray for his survival. She then goes to meet him and thinks that she always believed that her dreams will come true as he taught her that. Sadly, his injuries were too severe. Her grandfather promised her with his drying breath that her dream would come true. She cries badly thinking about him and all of his memories as she thinks that she had to give up on her desires. That same time, Kazuya knocks on her door and she opens the door. Kazuya barges in but Chizuru says that he can't just come in like that. Kazuya says that it's fine and that he did some research and he thinks that he can use crowdfunding to shoot a small movie. He tells her that he talked to a site owner who would help them to gather funds from people in order to create a small production. Chizuru doesn't understand but Kazuya explains further that he also learned how to make a small movie as well. 
He tells Chizuru that they still had a chance to make sure her grandmother can watch her on the big screen using the money that they will collect. He tells her that he has worked out all the details and that they can also rent out an entire theater or a cinema as well to show their work. Chizuru tells him that she needs to think about and Kazuya gets upset that she doesn't have time to waste. Kazuya thinks that they have to try it and that Suma's idea and her passion to act will be fulfilled. Kazuya is uploading the request on the site when Chizuru shows up and tells her that she agree and if he can really do all he promised and that he won't leave halfway. She tells him that she doesn't want to waste the time she has left with her grandma and that she really wants to make her happy. Kazuya says that he won't back down no matter what. Later on he asks all of his friends to help in spreading this as much as possible so that they can make Chizuru's dream come true.